Um, I'm going to call it CAPE, which is something that's really important to us and is threaded throughout all of our workshops. So in the fall, I mentioned the summer we had these workshops, in the fall we had a follow-up. And some of the things that we really considered were copyright, accessibility, privacy, and the evaluation of open educational resources. We use the ACHIEVE rubric in our workshops. It is not, our districts are not limited to that, but that is what we use throughout the districts and, and through the workshops, and we're hoping that they will probably, or they will assume the same thing. A lot of the systemic moves toward open educational resources during, you know, sort of a downturn in the economy four, five, six, seven years ago, um, a lot of those were done sort of out of necessity. Uh, we don't have a great deal of funds. I know it's time for, you know, resource adoption in, in the cycle, but we don't have funds for that, so what do we do? So, so very pragmatically, a lot of this uh, was done as a as a cost-saving measure. And in reality, um, what we found is that to do this right in a, in a sustainable way, um, we're not really saving money. What we're doing is we're reallocating it, and we're re reassigning it, and we are utilizing it in a better way. Um, I think another really important uh, consideration is that to have successful implementation, you really need to pay close attention to uh, professional development with the resources, the same as you would traditional materials. Using OER takes time. And so um, for school districts that are still on traditional models of class scheduling and um, professional development, you know, if we have a day or two here or there, um, it, it really, you have to dedicate yourself to providing the time and the space for the teachers to work together and um, to share with each other. So, like, OER isn't free. It just costs in a different fashion. So that's really, I would say, if I was going to encourage anyone into this, I would say just be prepared for that.